Hello, curious learners. Today we are going to look at dividing polynomials. This is just an introduction um, video, an introduction lesson. I know that dividing polynomials or simplifying or factoring polynomials can be very complicated, but we are going to do just just touch on it lightly and and hopefully give you a bit of a taste of what it's like. So one thing you absolutely need to know to be able to factor or divide polynomials is this. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now you might be thinking, no kidding, Mr. Buffington. Thank you very much. But just wait, it gets better. Negative 5 divided by negative 5 is also equal to 1. Again, thank you, Mr. Buffington, Captain Obvious here. But the point is that x divided by x is 1. Any number divided by itself is going to give you 1. Now, when you know that, you can start factoring some polynomials and monomials really, really effectively. So you have to understand that principle, that any number or any variable divided by itself can equal will equal 1. So let's look at a simple question with a monomial divided by a monomial. 15xyz squared divided by 3xz. What this means is, and I've taken 15 and I've um, made it into its prime factors of 3 times 5. The reason I did that is because 3 is a common factor on the denominator and in the numerator. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. Let's get rid of some of those, right? So I made it 3 times 5, which is 15, then x times y times z times z. I, I wrote it all out, just expanded everything out, and then on the bottom I have 3 times x times z. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I can cancel these out. I'm not really canceling them out, I'm actually dividing. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times that whole thing gives me that whole thing. So it's like it disappears. So it looks like it disappears, but really I'm just dividing. z divided by z is 1. x divided by x is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 1 times 1 doesn't change the value of anything. So what I'm left with then on the top of this is 5 times y times z times 1 times 1 times 1 does not matter. So I'm left with 5yz. This is how we simplify binomials, polynomials, monomials. Um, these examples up here are a, a monomial divided by a monomial, but that's how we simplify them. You expand them out and get rid of all the common factors between them and simplify it to lowest terms. Now it's time for a practice question. Go ahead and simplify 21ab squared c divided by 7ac. When I go to simplify this, I expand it out, make it a product of its prime factors. 3 times 7 is 21, a times b times b times c is ab squared c. And on the denominator, or on the bottom of the fraction, 7 times a times c. I can now cancel out all common factors. 7 divided by 7, a divided by a, c divided by c. When I cancel out those factors that are the same on the top and bottom, I'm left with 3 times b times b, or in other words, 3b squared. Is that the answer that you got? If so, very nicely done. For this next question, we are going to change things up a bit. We are going to divide a polynomial by a monomial. So this is the most complicated question we are going to do while working with these numbers. And this is what it looks like. It looks a little complicated now, but don't you worry. It will all make sense in just a little bit. Whenever you have a polynomial in the numerator like that, you can actually change that so that it's written as three separate fractions. Now you might say to yourself, I hate fractions, they're terrible, terrible things. Why would I want three of them instead of one? But if you look at each individual fraction, it actually is a little bit easier to deal with. And we can factor each individual fraction just like we did in the previous question looking for common factors 
and common variables. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm not going to expand them out this time. I'm just going to say 5. I'm taking out the factor of 5 from both of those terms. So I take out 5 from the bottom, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. So I'm left with a factor of 3 on the top. Hope that makes sense. If not, just think about it as 5 times 3, and I'm canceling the 5s out. I'm left with the 3. Also, with this one, I had 1x on the bottom and 2 on the top. x squared means x times x. So I'm left with 1x on the top. So I'm just going to cross out the exponent and write a 1 in there. That's just a shortcut that I like to do. Now I go to my second fraction. 5s and 5s cancel each other out. x's and x's cancel each other out. Now I'm looking at my third fraction. 10x divided by 5x. 10 divided by 5 is 2. x divided by x is 1. So what I'm left with on the top or in the numerator now is 3x plus y plus 2. You see that? I factored out all of the parts and simplified it down to a trinomial. It is still a trinomial. It's still, those terms can't be made any simpler. They can't be joined together in any way. But what it does is it helps it to be just a little bit easier um, to work with. All right, time for you to practice one. Here you go. This may look a little more complicated. It's very similar to what we just did. Go ahead and try that one out. All right, we are back and ready to get started with this. I would divide this into three separate fractions. 28a squared over 4a, 16ab over 4a, and 8a over 4a. This will help me so that I can factor these, um, each fraction individually. 28 divided by 4 gives me 7, and I have 1a on the bottom and 2 on top, so I'm left with 1 on the top there. 4, 16 divided by 4 gives me 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1. I can also cancel out an a there in the second fraction. And in my final fraction, I have 8a divided by 4a. 8 divided by 4 is 2. a divided by a is 1, so it cancels itself out. So what I'm left with then is 7a in the first fraction, 7a to the power of 1. In the second fraction, I have 4b. And in the third fraction, I have 2. So there you go. I have nothing, no numbers left in the denominator, so those are all 1s. And you know if you divide something by 1, you just end up with that number. So it's like we get rid of the fractions, which is really nice. So this lesson has been about dividing polynomials. We've, we've kept it pretty simple to dividing monomials by monomials. It's kind of an introduction. There's a lot that you can do with factoring um, factoring polynomials, but this is just the first lesson, just to take a look at it and get, get your feet wet a little bit with that. Some things to keep in mind. Factor out common terms from the coefficient, or common factors from the coefficients. Notice how we were factoring out 4s and 5s and 3s. Those terms that were common, we were able to factor out from the coefficients, or the numbers in front of the variables. Factor out all the common variables, those who are canceling out x's and y's and a's and b's. F common variables can get factored out. And just remember to watch for the exponents. Um, we had a to the power of 2 and a on the bottom, and so you can't cancel all of the a squared away. You have to keep the number of exponents. Just remember that an exponent means a variable times itself. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.